Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Territorial Expansion. We are jumping in as a Rebel with the Golden Grenade Laser Launcher, which isn't that good. <laughs> uh, but we'll give it a go nonetheless. Uh, let's jump on in. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just very, very ammo hungry. Um, let's grab that. Holy fuck, look at that. The, the best thing about it, really, is the fact that it's piercing. Holy shit, look at these boys. Look at them go. Look at them go. My god, this, they're absolutely wrecking the place up. It's great. It's amazing. I get rads for them dying, don't I? Let's be cautious about that and make sure to pick them up. But we are here as Rebel. Previously, we played as... We played a plan, and then we played as... Who did we play last episode? Chicken. I, I literally just recorded it like two seconds ago, so I should be able to remember. Um, but yeah, we played as Chicken. And it, we didn't we didn't do too much chickeny things. We didn't do much, much melee at all, if any. Uh, but we had a good time nonetheless. Right, let's jump on in. I just spawned in an absolute fuck ton of babies. Okay. Oh my god, I'm focusing so hard. I don't know why, considering. Please don't die. I ran right through every single enemy there. Just to try and get all the reds. <laughs> it kind of worked out, surprisingly. It kind of worked out. Holy fuck, right. Um... We got a lot of rads. Right, is that the end of the level? No, it's not good. Right, we can take a little bit of stock here. Assault rifle, assault rifle, screwdriver, wrench, grenade launcher, laser pistol. Not a very good selection, but I will take the assault rifle. It's decent enough. Also, we'll do this for some ammo. Or healing. Kind of forgot we could also get healing from that. So we kind of want to be using the laser explosion launcher on things that we need to pierce. Also, make sure not to use it at close range, because you can easily kill yourself with this thing. Uh, let's try and get some more healing out of this. We've got ammo. Opposite of what we asked for. But we're doing well nonetheless. I'm going to try and play Rebel a little more aggressively on the um, ad spawning side of things. I think Bloodlust is really good here. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And yeah, let's go with that. Wow, that's that was that was a good good little run there. Right, let's spawn in two allies here. We got str actually stress is really, really good for us. I just realised stress, pl stress plus bloodlust is a is a very, very strong combo for us. Wow, yeah, this is a really, really good uh, combo of of stuff going on right now. I'm liking this a lot. We we basically come into the level and uh, double slash triple prop, pop our ability once we get into combat at least. So one two that puts us down to five HP. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll do two pops and then if we get healing, then we pop another. There you go. On three pops and these guys have higher fire rates, so they kind of get in there and wreck stuff up. Um. Let's be careful here. Damn. They do they do die quite easily, unfortunately, but they're still very strong nonetheless. Okay, nice. And that's us done. Um I think we take plutonium hunger here. Makes sense. I'm just gonna do one pop here. So it does increase health usage each time. There we go. We'll do our second pop now. And this is genuinely pretty great. Okay, we need all of that. Harpoon launcher is kind of a risky one to take for us here. The good thing is as well, bloodlust is going to be giving us a lot. Of I don't know if we get... One thing I'm not unsure of is, do we get bloodlust from our um, followers dying? Right, let's take a risk here. See what's down here. I know that the Guardian spawned down here, so we want to be very careful. 
A bunch of rads, not really worth it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. Oh wait, is, is that gun or cannon? Gun. Darn. So we can't spawn any allies going into this next stage. Does scare me a little bit. Okay, good. There's HP. And we can spawn two of them. And they just help us along so nicely. Nicely round out our damage. Spawn in another. Oh, we've got a horror. Fuck. I did not realize. Oh, of course we do. Because we opened up three canisters in the last area and left them all. So of course we have a horror. That's how that works. I didn't think about that at all. I mean, it, it's pretty good, though, because we didn't have to fight the Guardians and we got all of the reds, so... But that's kind of cool. I, that, that's a that's an interesting little thing we can do there. Let's take that now. Lightning pistol's a little better here. Good, good. I think we'll end up spawning the portal here. Yeah. Rhino skin's great here as well. Right. Okay, this guy's getting a bit too close for comfort. Okay, good. There was a guy up there, but I think he's dead. Oh, what did we miss out on then? Did it pull it through with us or not? I don't think it did, did it? Disc gun slugger. It didn't. It's fucking awful. Holy shit. Oh, damn. That guy got a bit close for comfort there. And you. I am loving this run. Please don't let this run go wrong really quickly. There's a super crossbow there. I'll take the super crossbow. It's pretty good. Um, Laser brain? Yeah, we'll take laser brain with the uh, lightning pistol. That could be pretty good. Okay, just be very cautious and careful about what we're facing. I wish the lightning pistol was a little easier to aim, I have to say. Bubble minigun, energy screwdriver's pretty energy screwdriver's pretty good. Damn, it's crazy how low our fire rate gets when we're near max HP. I don't really want to buy any more, I said buy, uh, spend any more HP because I think we're in a good position right now. Good. What the hell? Where's the last enemy? Where are you at? Ah, uh, hello. What? How? How did you two live through all of this? You're huge. How'd you get away from that? Right, here I want to be very, very careful, because there's a lot going on. Essentially, just make sure we're moving out the way when we need to. Good. Health's looking good. Just destroy that before... Oh my god, look at them all. Look at them all! My babies! Go on, my little warriors! <laughs> that was awesome. As long as there's enough enemies to sustain the healing, you can just plow through them. It's great. I love it. Okay, I did get hit there. Be very, very cautious. Actually, be extremely cautious, because little dickhead's about. I don't actually know where he is anymore. Yeah. 
Damn, we actually ran out of ammo. And of course it gives us bolt ammo. Fuck's sake, you. Go away. I'm gonna die to him, aren't I? Fuck's sake. Oh my god. You're so terribly designed. Please, stop existing. Let's take a fun run. Let's ruin it with a terribly designed boss. A boss of which you are at the mercy of RNG. If he spawns in his NPCD boys, the police guys, then you're absolutely fine. But if he decides to use his stupid bouncy bullet attack, plus his plus sign firing attack, then you are fucking dead and there's nothing you can do about it, so go fuck yourself. Good, good, good. I love it. What a brilliantly designed boss. Fantastic. I, I love dying to basically just RNG. It's so fun. So fun. I am going to be salty for the rest of this video now. No, I'm joking. I won't be. But I'm still very annoyed. That was a very fun run. And I, I really want to recreate it. When we, I think now that we've got Bloodlust, we can already start to start recreating this, but... The fuck? Big Bandit got me then. Got him. One thing that would be really good, actually, is the thing that gives us um, more healing per, per healing box. That would work quite well here. Give me your rads, boys. I'm gonna say, like at a base level, we're just turning we're just turning HP into rads, which is also pretty good. Uh, there's bloodlust again. Nice. Right. We don't need to spawn any buddies this time around. Good. good. Throw we go. The wind hurts. Like getting three of these guys up is insane. Makes me feel like a god. Which, as we, as we discussed previously, is, is very bad for me. Nice. We are very low on ammo. And of course, I see a melee weapon and immediately think, no, I don't want that shit. I should be thinking the opposite. Uh. Gamma Guts? Yeah, we'll take that. I'm going all in. My god, look at that shotgunner up there. Fuck. I love the little baby dudes, they're so cute. Fuck you, big boy. Oh, they're so cute. If it had killed me, I'd have crapped myself though. Right, we made it out, and we made it out with some ammo, so... Who's the boss of jobs now, dickhead? MC Devo. I literally no one on my entire channel will get the reference to that, unless they are specifically from where I am from. <laughs> It's great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into a bit a little bit of story time about about describing this reference, which is just kind of dumb. If you if you have to over describe a reference, then it's really not worth saying. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, so as as a lot of people probably already know, especially anyone from the UK, we have this thing called chavs, which is essentially the redneck of the UK, kind of. <laughs> it's just like 
I don't know, they're just the worst type of people. Um, and they're the sort of people that, like, sit on street corners throwing rocks at cars and drinking um, two-pound bottles of cider. Them sort of people. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> this guy, um, he decided to create, like, a, a an e uh a thingy chav persona as like a as like a comedy character thing for like a sketch show and oh it's it's so good and uh it like a lot of the filming for the for the um little thingy he did the little skit oh, one moment for the little skit that he did was actually filmed where i live or oh, lived i don't live there anymore but where, where i live with my parents where i grew up a lot of it was filmed there and oh it's so funny and also like he, he puts on like the most chavvy accent ever and it's so good and like <laughs> it opens up with basically it's like a documentary documentary style so there's a guy following around with a camera and asking him questions and like it starts off with him he's on the dole he's got no job he's, he's living off the living off the government's money sort of thing and he's going down to the job center because when you're on dole you have to go to the job center. You have to go and apply for, I think it's like eight jobs a week or something like that. You have to apply for a certain amount of jobs a week to make sure you get in your allowance, which there's, there's many ways to cheat the system, but he, he, whatever. This is what he's doing. Um, he goes down to the job center and the guy's following him with the camera, of course. And, um, oh, damn, this is pretty good. <laughs> like, he sees his dead pigeon and he just fucking kicks the shit out of it. Like, he's on the side of the road near, near the job center and he, he just runs up to it and kicks it. And he's like, oh, look at that, mate. It's fucking dead, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> and then he's like shouting at the pigeon, like, who's boss of job center now, dickhead? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> and like proper overplaying it and like some woman comes over and she's like did you just kick that dead pigeon it's like no me i didn't kick out dickhead i didn't do nothing <laughs> oh it's just the chaviest accent ever it's so funny also this level is chaos and i hate it oh, i'm loving this fucking laser gun thing uh, but yeah it's just so funny it's like i didn't kick out dickhead didn't do it and then like later on in the episode he finds an abandoned car like a, a, a sort of a rundown warehouse <laughs> and he um he tries setting it on fire like he, he, he like smashes the window open and like tries setting it on fire and like he's got his lighter to the to the car seat and he's like why don't they make uh why don't they make car seats that set on fire what what they doing? I can't believe they make car seats that weren't set on fire. That's stupid. That is. I wish they'd set on fire. <laughs> so funny. And like he's like lobbing bricks at the windscreen to try and uh, smash it, and it's just nothing's happening. Oh, it's just, it's just so funny. What the fuck? We got strong spirit from somewhere. Did we? Did, did do we have strong spirit? I don't fucking know. Um. But yeah. Oh god. It's just. It's. <sighs> It's one of the, like the skits. That's, it's just one of my favourites because like it's it's sad how much it embodies what chavs are actually like. And there's <laughs> there's like one bit. What the fuck have I taken here? Give me my crossbow back. Um, <laughs> there's one episode where he um. He finds an air raid siren. I don't know if uh, many people know what that sounds like, but essentially during the World War in uh, in the UK, the, you, there was these air raid sirens. So if there was a bomber coming over, because the place that I that I used to live got heavily bombed in World War Two. So obviously they they had like old ones lying around, and essentially it's just like a really really loud siren that they that they play, and it's on a hand crank. So um, so it was like easy use and didn't require power. Um. And he found he he finds one of them, and he's like selling his like grime CDs, and <laughs> to get attention to like pull people in to try and buy it, he's fucking cranking this air raid siren. So like he's in this little, little little sort of back alley behind a bunch of council houses, and he's just fucking blaring this air raid siren. Obviously, considering it's for an for like getting inside and seeking cover when or get into a bunker when there's bombs going over it's insanely loud and the sound stretches for like a really it, it like they they covered a huge area so like he is making sound that like the entire neighborhood can hear uh, just to try and sell its cd it's so fucking funny oh my god it's hilarious
I bet no one else even finds this funny, but if anyone actually wants to watch this, because it is still on YouTube, type in uh, Dever, D-E-V-V-E, and it's probably like one of the first results that shows up. And it will it will show you the true embodiment of, um, of what a chav is. Because they are... They are a strange species. I have... I have seen many, and had many, I won't say, not tussles, but many in interactions with them uh, in the past, and they are, uh, they are a, a horrible sort. Like, you'll just be, like, walking down the street randomly, and they'll just, like, swear at you and spit at you, and, like, for no reason. They'll just be sat there in their full Adidas tracksuits, pulling wheelies on their, uh, on their bikes, thinking they're all cool, and you'll walk past them and they'll just... Doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, if they've never met you, doesn't matter, they'll just start, like, swearing and spitting at you and stuff. It's just like, what? Why? And then they'll be like, oh, dickhead, what are you doing here? And all this sort of shit, and, like, it's like... It's amazing to think that people like that exist and think that they're cool. But they do. What the fuck is going on? I'm, I'm hardly paying attention to this uh, this this run right now. I'm just kind of focused on my story. Stop throwing saw blades at me, you shitting seal fuck. But I don't, I, I've kind of lost track of what the hell's going on. I'm alive. We can at least say that. Let's take Rabbit's paw here. Jump on in. And see what we got. La! I love, I love the way Rebel speaks. Um... Fuck it. Let's just go for something spicy, shall we? Um, do you know this is really dumb? But I want to try this out with the new with the new ammo drops. It seems like it could be cool. Okay, I died immediately. Damn, <laughs> little hunter got me again. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just how it goes. Either way, we're going to leave it there. I know it's a much shorter episode than normal, but I don't have as much time for today's episode, sadly. I was hoping we'd get a little bit further than that, but I can't possibly start a new run. I only have five minutes left to record this episode. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.